Hi everyone. This is Kathy from Kathy's Jewelry and Crafts. Today I'm coming on to show you in a few steps how to make these earrings on the X tool. I took two days to figure out how to cut out these earrings, how to design them and cut them out. And I finally watched a, a video from the laser guy on YouTube. And after I watched his video, I was able to do it. So shout out to the laser guy. And I'm going to show you in like five or six steps how to do this. I did it in Inkscape, which is a free software. So when I come back, I will be on the computer. See you in a few. I am now in Inkscape. Inkscape is free. You can download it to your computer. I'm using a MacBook Air, but it supports other platforms as well. So let's get started. I'm just going to make the circle earrings um that i showed you in the beginning um you can't see them because i'm not on camera i'm just on the screen using the screen um but so we're going to grab a circle make sure this is selected otherwise you'll get a funny looking circle and you can do any size you want i'm going to do mine right about there now if this circle comes in a different color just click down here to white and it'll come back white let me show you so if you click let me get the tool say you were to click and it was red then or it came in red you can click down here to white and it'll come back white all right let's go over here and get another circle and we want it just slightly smaller than that circle so we're going to go back we always got to go back and get that tool so that's a little too big so we're going to make it a little smaller and just fit it right in there that's perfect okay so now we're going to select everything by going to select all okay and we're going to um, center it under align and distribute so the middle ones are center that one center and then the second one here is distribute and distribute once we have that, we can go to path and difference. Okay? We have to do that step or else it won't work. All right. So then we put our text in. So we go and put our text. I'm just going to write my name, Kathy. Click away from it. Get our tool back. And we can drag this right up to our circle. And we can stretch it. Now I'm going to use a different font because we need kind of a script font. So let me click on the um, A tool and go to, um, I like this one called Groovy Retro. It's really good. And I probably got it on Defont.com, I'm sure. All right. I don't know what why that's there. So let me see if I can get that out. All right, let's go here and stretch that. We can make it bigger. You want a thick font because when you're cutting this out in wood, um, the thicker it is, the better it'll work. And it doesn't matter if it goes over this line, but it matters if it does not touch that line, okay? All right, so now we got our letters. Um, we need to make these letters a path. So let's go up to um, path and objects to path. Click that. Click on it. And then we're going to go to um, ungroup. Okay. We need to ungroup them because this K is not touching that A. So once we have them ungrouped, we can either move the K over. Or we can move each one of these letters over. Whoa. All right. So it's sometimes it's easier just to use the arrow keys. Go up and down until you get it just the way you want it. It's kind of up in the air. Okay. They just need to touch. That went over too far. So I'm going to move it with the arrow keys. 
and down. It's hard to see with all those arrows there, but it needs to come over just a little bit more. All right, and it needs to come down a little more. And then our Y. We're going to take it over and down. And now you can look at it and see if you like it. It's kind of something that's not quite right. So let me move it over a little bit. Of course, I messed everything up. So let's just move that back. I could just do undo, but let me see if I, yeah, I think I'm going to do undo because otherwise I'll be here all day. Okay, I think we need one more. One more undo. There we go. All right. So it's a little crooked, but you get the idea. All right. Now that we have um, that the way we want, everything's touching, we can simply move this out the way. This is the easiest way to do this. Believe me, I've tried. Because you need to highlight this. And with them ungrouped, it's so hard to highlight all of them. So if you move that out of, way, out of the way, you can highlight that and then go up to, I think it's path, the path, and yes, and go union. And that puts them all back together. Okay, see they're all together. Now you can bring that back up and get it right where you want it. So again, this can be over this line, but it has to be touching can't be inside the line and not touch it. Um, I'm gonna pull that down a little bit. Okay, so it's in the center, okay? Once you have it the way you want, you wanna highlight all of it and then go union again. And there you are. That's how you do it. And it only took me two days to figure out how to do it because I kept watching videos and videos and people go around the block and when all they have to do is just say, just do this, this, and this. And um, I was getting so frustrated. I said, there's got to be somebody who just tell us what we need to do. So that's, if you want the text by itself and not just cut out of the wood, you just want it, you know, like kind of hanging in there. Those are the steps that you will take. And then you end up with some beautiful earrings. Let's do one more thing before we go. Um, I like my earrings to have a hole at the top. So I'm going to do another circle. And it's going to be an itty bitty circle. And then I'm going to go back to this tool. That's one thing about Inkscape. you got to keep going back to that tool. All right. And then I'm going to make it a little smaller. Not quite that small, but a little smaller. And then I'm going to move it over. And then I'm going to check it. That's a little bit too to the top of the wood. So I'm going to do that. And I think that's kind of perfect. And you don't have to do anything else with that. You don't have to union it. You don't have to do anything. Once you put it there, it will cut. So now all I will do is save. Um, I guess I should be in file. Save as. And then I will name it um, earring. Um, let's make a weird number because I have so many <laughs> earring files. 23 is SVG because it says Inkscape SVG, but I like to save, save everything as a plain SVG. All right. And then here you tell it where you want it to save. Okay. I'm good where it's going to save because I'm not, I've already done this file. And then you just hit save. And now you have an SVG file with that. So, of course, when you go to LaserBox or Lightburn, you, you can make two copies of that and have them and save them and print them out whenever you want. And you can size them because it's one, you know, you can move it up and down, smaller, thinner, whatever. Um, you can make it, depends on what size you want. Just got to put that dot back in there because I did not make it, um, I did not make it, you know, attached to that file but when you go over to light laser burn and it's a svg the one i made a svg it will it will move right with the file so ooh, that there's a big old arrow that was weird but any oh, there it is again but anyway thank you if you like my short to the point videos please subscribe to my channel it's fairly new but it's growing um 
and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!